Matt here, Atlas Precision Consulting. Today's video is about transfer back orders. We're going to talk about how they work, what's their purpose. I'm also going to show you guys how to view your transfer back orders, and I'll show you the process of PO receipts with transfer back orders. So start off with I'm a transfer entry, and I have a transfer order started here with an item that I know is on transfer back order. I can look over to the right here, and I can see I have a quantity on TBO. Now, if I come in here and request another 50, you'll notice that it puts it on a B disposition and it ups that TBO quantity to 400. Now, what is gonna happen with this transfer when I save it, even if I try to print an acknowledgement, it's not gonna print anything. Even if I had a note, it's just not gonna print anything. When I hit save, it's gonna tell me that that transfer number has been saved successfully. But if I pull that transfer number back up, you'll notice that it is now a deleted transfer. Uh, P21 does not allow you to leave transfers open that are TBOs. Now, if you had four items on here and only one of them was a TBO, that one line would be deleted off, but the other three would still be on there. Uh, the idea is this TBO quantity is a P21 just allows you to keep filling that bucket. So you don't have multiple transfers out there requesting the same item. It waits till you can fill that quantity or, or partial that quantity and then combines them. And I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, so if you wanted to, to view what you had on open, uh, transfer back order. There is a module called view open transfer back orders. Now, when you first walk in, it's this uh, query screen that looks like an Excel document. If you just right clicked anywhere and hit apply query, it's going to show you every single transfer back order. Now in this system, that's not a problem because it's a test system. But if you were in the real world with many locations and many items, it could be a little hectic uh, to view all of that. Uh, so what I would recommend is if I'm looking either at a destination or source location ID is probably your best way to go. So I'm going to say, hey, I want to know how many location 10 uh, currently have on back order and what items those are. So once I do that and I right click and hit apply query, it's going to bring back every item that qualifies. Now, right now in this system, there's only two. Uh, you can see this second item here with the 400 quantity. That's the one we were just working with in our transfer entry. But you'll notice there's another item here. Now we're gonna take care of this 400. I'm gonna show you what that looks like with a PO receipt. But if for some reason you don't wanna keep these on transfer back order, or you just wanted to clear them out, instead of having to go clear out multiple transfer orders, it keeps it in one bucket. So you can just say, you know what, this item, I'm gonna zero that out. I don't want any more transfer back order. So now when I hit save, that line is now gone. And I only have one line on transfer back order. And so if we come in here and we do our apply query again, you'll see the screen looks a little different because there's only one item. So it's just giving me that one item in a different view. Uh, but the same thing, I could clear that one item if I wanted to. Now I'm gonna jump over to PO receipts because I have a receipt ready to go and I wanna show you what it does. Now, normally we have this set to allocate automatically, but I just wanna show you what the system's trying to do. So when I hit save here, it's obviously gonna launch my allocation wizard. And you'll see down here, here's my location 20 has 400 of these on transfer back order, right? So if I come in here and I say, I wanna out, and again, the system would automatically have done this, but I just wanted to show you the process. So once I allocate those and I hit save changes in X, what's gonna happen is it's gonna tell me, hey, we're having to create a new transfer. And now you'll see, we went from transfer, the last transfer we did was 15, but the system has gone out and said, hey, all of those transfer back orders, they came from like four or five different transfer orders. We're gonna combine them all into one transfer, one brand new transfer. And so I can hit check to print my, uh, my transfer order. And then now I no longer have any items in transfer back order status. Uh, so if you guys have questions on TBOs or anything else, put a comment down below, make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas is here for your P21 needs.